Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Spryn. Today I have a haul for you guys. Um, it's going to be my part one of uh, my winter haul for Bath & Body Works. I'm really excited. I just got a package of a bunch of candles in the mail, so I want to show you guys everything that I got. Um, so we're going to start with, um, I do have a couple of bags here, just from like random shopping that I did. Um, so let's get started. Um, so the first tiny little bag here I have, <laughs> um, I did, when I placed my online order, um, I did get a free little mini item so it was my birthday about a week ago and I got so if you're a part of the rewards program you get a free item up to $7.50 and this is what I chose I chose a mini strawberry pound cake spray and um they didn't really have anything that I wanted and my coupon was about to expire. It only lasts for like a month, which kind of sucks, but, um, they didn't have anything that I really wanted. So, and the mini sprays are $8.50 now. So if they're going to do that, the new one, the new, new ones. Um, so if they're going to do that, they should give me a gift that's $8.50, just saying. But I did have plenty of options. So I got the strawberry pound cake spray and I, I don't know what it is, but like, I don't, I want to not like it because it's so hyped, but I, every time I smell strawberry pound cake, I just fall more and more in love with it. I don't know. I'm like starting to become obsessed with it. Um, and doesn't have the notes on here, but it smells kind of like a strawberry yogurt, but I don't know what it is, but it just smells so good. So if you guys haven't smelled strawberry pound cake, go smell it. <laughs> and I picked up um, a few of the pocket back hand sanitizers. I got fresh sparkling snow. And I don't even like this scent. I don't know why I got this one. I just got like suckered in for the packaging. But there's that. I'm, I'll probably give it away as like a gift. I don't. I don't like this scent. I don't know. Um, it's got like a melon. I wish it said the scent notes on here, but it's like a icy melon smell, and I don't like. I like watermelon scents, but I don't like like um, melon specifically scents. Um, and then I got tis the season which is always a good one. It's like an apple cinnamon scent. Um, then I got Vanilla Bean Noel. You can never go wrong with a nice Vanilla Bean Noel. It's like a sweet vanilla, obviously. And Christmas Morning Mimosa. I thought that one looked interesting. The sticker is kind of on there weird. <laughs> It's okay. Um, let's give it a smell. Um, it smells good. Uh, it kind of just smells like a berry scent. Like maybe a citrusy berry. It smells pretty good. So there's that. Oh, there's one more in here. I almost missed him. Oh, ice cinnamon roll. You guys, I love this scent. Um, it smells like a cinnamon roll, but like a hint of like citrus, like, like orange icing on top. Super good. You guys have to try that one if you haven't tried that one. Um, and then I just got a few wallflowers when they're doing a wallflower sale. I got winter classic winter scent um tis the season I got fresh balsam and this one says increased intensity so 
fresh balsam's already really strong, so I'm excited for this one. I'll let you guys know if it's stronger or what's not. But. And then I got white balsam and vanilla. This scent came out last year, and I did get the wallflower, but I missed out on the candle, and I was super bummed. Um, but this year, I randomly, when I was out shopping, I randomly just picked up this one white balsam and vanilla candle. And the scent notes are fresh white pine, chilled forest air, warm vanilla musk. And this one, oh, and here's the lid. It's really cute. Um, this one smells like straight up like fresh balsam mixed with um, a marshmallow scent. And it's really strong and I love this. I haven't burned the candle yet, but I already got a backup <laughs> because this one smells like it's going to be really strong. And the packaging super cute. So if you guys like Marshmallow Fireside... Um, and you like fresh balsam, I would pick this one up because um, it's like a mixture of the two. Yeah, like you get, it's like kind of a harsh um, balsam. It's not like the sweet balsam mixed with that marshmallow scent. So I would pick this one up. And then I got, you guys, I got this giant box of candles. <laughs> it's really heavy. Um, I ordered eight candles online when they did the sale. Uh, I think it was buy two, get two free. So I got eight candles. And the first collection that I'm going to talk about is this one here. And um, the candle is Winter Cabin. So it's this collection. And I am not a fan of this packaging. Honestly, I kind of hate it. It's just too, it's honestly too plain and just, when I think of winter candles, I want like a whole scene. You know what I mean? And this is just so boring. Not a fan. But the candle is winter air, black pepper, warm amber, and cedar. And I actually do like this scent. Um, it smells like a cologne, but it's almost like a, like a soapy cologne. It's a very fresh cologne, and it smells like it's going to be really strong. That's why I like it. <laughs> um, but... It's definitely like a fresh, soapy cologne scent. Um, I'm a fan of flannel and um, black tie. Those are my favorite cologne -y scents, but I'm going to give this one a go. Um, it's really fresh. I just wish the packaging was better. Like, I wish it was like a cabin on here, winter cabin, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so that's winter cabin. Um, and then the other candle I got in that collection is Cinnamon Sugared Pecan. And the scent notes are Cinnamon Sugar, Warm Roasted Pecans, and Brown Sugar. And this one, it's, it's like a light cinnamon scent, um, but then there's like a hint of creaminess. Like, almost like a frosting smell. But, um, I think I'm going to exchange this one. It's a very light scent. And I don't, I mean, it just kind of smells like cinnamon. There's nothing special about this candle. So I think I might exchange this one. And I'm not a fan of the packaging, obviously. Um, so the next collection I'm going to go is this one, and this one is Fresh Balsam. And this, I would say this is my second favorite packaging of the Winter Candles so far. This is really cute. Um, I wish that it was, 
I don't like the whole plaid with the trees. That's like a bit too much maybe. Like it just kind of doesn't go together. But the little birdies are super cute. And the lid is a snowflake. So that's cute. And fresh balsam is woodland balsam crisp eucalyptus fir branches and cedar wood. And this one smells super strong. This so fresh balsam, I think, is the perfect balsam scent. If you like, if you want a like a Christmas tree scent, get fresh balsam. It's super strong. It's and it's got like a sweet note to it. It's just perfect. I love fresh balsam. My favorite balsam scent for sure. So there's that one and then another one in that collection is gingerbread marshmallow and the packaging is cute it's got the little bear and the trees and the plaid um I think I liked last year's packaging slightly better but this one's still cute and again it has the snowflake on top and then gingerbread marshmallow. I didn't get this one last year. I just went with like good old spiced gingerbread. So I decided to pick this one up this year. And this one is gingerbread spice, eggnog, spiced rum, vanilla frosting, brown sugar crystals. And this one smells really good. It's got like, um, it's got the spiced gingerbread note. And it almost, like, to me, I don't get the marshmallow smell, but to me, it almost smells like, like, if there was a frosting on top. Like, there is a really sweet note in there, too. So, I kind of like this one. We'll see how this one burns. And, ooh, it's starting to rain, you guys. It's been rainy the last couple of days, and it's been, like, I've been like super cozy and uh, lighting all my candles and I love it. I love when it gets like rainy and stormy here. It doesn't get that way often because, so I live in California and last year I think it rained like one day, like seriously, where I live. So it's been raining for a few days now and it's so exciting. Um, so anyway, back to the candles. <laughs> um, so the next collection I'm going to go over is this one, and this one is Under the Christmas Tree. And this is my favorite packaging this year. They always come out with like something similar to this, and I love it. It's like classic Christmas. I love it. I miss the photo labels on the candles so much. Those were my absolute favorite, but if we're going to go like... Christmas scene. I love this. And I wasn't even going to get this candle because I had it last year. And I mean, it's super similar to Fresh Balsam. And I just like that one because it's super strong. Um, but I got suckered in by this packaging. So, And then the lid is super cute. It's like um, reindeer and trees. Super cute. So this one is... Fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaves. And this one's got a lot going on, but to me, it smells kind of like a watered down fresh balsam. Like, that's pretty much all you get. Like, you might get like a hint of like a sweet vanilla note. Maybe it's like the eggnog vanilla eggnog yeah but to me it just smells like fresh balsam a little bit more harsh like not as sweet as fresh balsam but like watered down so if you're gonna go with either one I would say fresh balsam honestly but this one I just loved the packaging so I got it <laughs> Um, the next one is a new one, and it is Bright Christmas Morning. 
And that's what it looks like. It's like, um, you know, the couch with all the presents. With the white and the gold. And same lid. Sorry guys, I ran out of storage. Um, anyways, I only have a couple more candles left, so let's get through it. Um, so bright Christmas morning. Let's smell this one. So this one smells very similar to me to Champagne Toast. Um, it's like a very sweet, fruity scent. You really get the orange for, like first. And then maybe like a hint of cranberry. I'm not really getting the apple at all. But um, it smells like it's going to be strong. But I do not like champagne toast. So I'm going to probably be exchanging this one for a different one. Um, but if you like champagne toast, I would give this one a go. It smells like it has like the slight effervescent scent. Um, and it smells like it's going to be strong. So there's that one. Then we have Cookies with Santa, and the packaging for this is perfection. I love the packaging on this one. There is, if you can see, a little kitty cat, which you know I'm going to love this, the fireplace, the presents. I love this one. Perfect packaging. This one is fresh cinnamon, brown sugar, a drop of vanilla. And this one is so disappointing. <laughs> I, it doesn't really smell like anything, honestly. I can't smell anything. I smell like a hint of cinnamon and like a hint of vanilla and that's it. So disappointing on this one. Like, I can't, I can barely smell anything. Um, but I think I'm going to keep it just for the packaging. Who knows? It might come out when you burn it. But I'm honestly really disappointed in this one. It definitely does not smell like Mary Cookie at all. Like, it doesn't smell like anything, honestly. Like, slightly cinnamon vanilla, but that's it. And then the last one I have is Tis the Season. And the packaging on this one, I absolutely love it. It's like a perfect Christmas candle scene. And the notes are rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedarwood. And I love this candle, you guys. If you want, like, the perfect Christmas candle, it's this. It's got cinnamon, apple, like a hint of balsam. It's the perfect Christmas candle, in my opinion. And the packaging is spot on. Love it. So, that was a bunch of Christmas candles and a little bit of other stuff. Um... Are you guys excited about the what you've seen so far? I I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited to see what else I come out with. And you better believe there will be a part two to this. So if you guys are excited for more Christmas videos, um, go ahead and subscribe. Because what are you doing? You're missing out on all the Christmas fun. I mean, all the Bath and Body Works fun. And don't forget to like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.